Hello and welcome to the Forensic Fiend YouTube channel. Today's presentation will cover how to create a condition to remove known files. So what to do first? For this type of condition you require two hash sets, okay? One for a before and one for an after. What we want to do is we want to remove all the files that we know exist in the before from the after file. Okay, so for an investigator this is a very useful method. Um, it's basically to remove files from a, for example, from a known operating system files or from files which were created prior to uh, an incident occurring, okay? And this slide show will I'll show you how to do that. Before you do anything, you've got your case open, you're in the evidence screen, you want to click condition and click new condition, which will bring this page up. You want to change the location of the condition to whatever preferred location you want and then change the name of the condition as well, something which is relevant to what you're doing. Then click filters. On the filters, you'll see on the right hand side in the properties tab that we have something called hash to set prop set. I want you to double click on that. This will bring this screen up, okay? So this is a new filter screen. Where it says if new, you need to click that first. And then select category from the properties, then select contains from the operator and then put in the value for the hash set for the before evidence file so let's assume we work, today we're working in the after one so we want to remove the before file so we put in we i call the hash set test before if you remember from the previous video okay so once you've done that select okay which brings you to this screen right this is the original condition page this time you need to select if new from this page so it's not the filters page you've gone past that stage you've pressed ok now you're on the condition page click if new okay so the, con the filter that you've just created will appear in the properties table you may have to scroll down right to the bottom we called it test before if you remember so double click on that click on equal to false okay you click on equal to, equal to and then double click on false on the right hand side okay you have to double click because if you click once it won't appear in the value in the value section there if you want to select not equal to then you can also do that and you can select not equal to true okay then click ok now we see that we have this condition created um, the condition there it says if test before equal to false once you are happy with it click ok and the condition will be processing and you'll be able to see that in the bottom right hand side of the screen Okay, so conditions can be used for various reasons, such as removing folders. So we can have if new remove files. We can also for displaying files from a specified time frame. These are the two I used in my project. I remove folders because they were unnecessary, I didn't need them. And I also specified a specific time when an activity occurred. So it just showed me the files from within that time frame. Conditions sometimes take a long time to produce the results. On average, I was getting around 10 minutes. Okay, so in this case we have used two hash sets to produce new entries from a previous evidence file. Thank you for watching from Forensic Fiend.